Hello, minions. Wheezy here. Uh, today I'm going to try something a little new. Uh, it's going to be a commentary over a gameplay that I captured. Um, but I'm going to keep my big ugly mug here on the screen and uh, talk you through this game of Hardpoint that I played. And this isn't the typical kind of game that I would post because it wasn't like a an awesome score. Matter of fact, I think I went negative in this one. Um, but I played the objective well, and I wanted to share this and talk about the importance of playing the objective um, while also kind of giving some context of me capturing like videos for uh, my weapon tactics videos. So we'll go ahead and switch over and get right into it. Um, like I said, this is a game of hard point, and the thing that I really want to kind of focus on in, in going over this video is um, basically to kind of give you the context of this is is we won this game of hardpoint entirely because of me and um, that's not to be like arrogant it's just because I was literally the only one seriously playing the objective as you'll see throughout the game and this is this can be common in, in hardpoint um, where people maybe are, are there's a couple of things about hardpoint one is you know you're gonna die when you're on the objective that's the game everybody's heading to one objective and so anyone who's on it is at an increased risk of dying, right? This is a great example, this first one here. This is the most wide open spot on this map. Nobody likes to get into this place because you will die. If you're, you're not gonna get this capture point and then survive it, it just doesn't happen. Um, and for this game, um, for those who have seen my FAL weapon tactics video and have been on the channel, you know that I'm recording a lot of content for weapons tactics videos even though I haven't gotten them all posted yet which is to say I've gotten just the FAL posted and I've recorded like eight or nine weapons probably something like that um, the striker 45 is a weapon I'm working on right now and I'm not well as of right now I'm I'm a decent way through the progression I'd say probably a little over halfway through the progression um, at the time of recording this video a few days ago I was you know pretty early on in the progression of this weapon I played this game mode because there was a it was an operator challenge that I unlocked, um, and I believe it was to get three kills inside of smoke. So, rather than trying to go into um, an inappropriate game mode to achieve that objective, I was—I I normally wouldn't go into hardpoint this early in the uh, in the process, the unlock tree for a weapon. Um, mainly because, especially for a weapon like this, where it's probably not as well suited for hardpoint. But if I was going to do that challenge, I knew hardpoint would be the best place to do it. Everybody's rushing to one objective. That'd be the best opportunity for me to get a smoke down and kill people inside of smoke, right? So this allows me to not sacrifice the game or the objective for completing a challenge. Um, so that's what brought me into this. Um, and that said, I'm still, the way that I'm capturing videos for the... Uh, for my weapon tactics series is I'm playing with these weapons, figuring out what their strengths are, figuring out what attachments I like with them. And when I get a five kill streak, um, or better, that is the minimum kind of standard that I've set. Um, that's not quite how it worked with the FAL because that was early on, but since over the last several weapons, that's been my standard for saving clips is if I get a five kill streak or more, that's going to be a keeper for the weapon tactics video. And the reason why isn't because it's to show off how good I am. It's because if I take a weapon and I get a five or greater kill streak, that means I'm doing something right with the weapon. It's not like, oh, I'm great and I'm taking a crappy weapon and doing amazing for it. It's not like Call of Duty 4 with the ACOG uh, Scorpion, you know, where I'm just screwing around just to have fun. Um, although it is a similar concept, right? Where you're. Um, but instead of trying to take something intentionally bad and try to do good with it, I'm trying to take every weapon and figure out the best way to use it. So when I get a good kill streak, that's a good indication that I have found an effective way to use that weapon, and that's where I'm building my weapons tactics videos. That said, in this video, I don't get any five kill streaks, even though I had some opportunities when I could have made some kill streaks. But to get those kill streaks, I would have had to not play the objective in a way that my team would have that would have helped my team. There are times in hardpoint if you get a decent team um, and they're really playing the objective hard, then you can play a supporting role and you can help defend the objective without laying in it and risking yourself. Um, you kind of have to play the game. Or when you're in a game like this, where your team will not get on the capture point, you can either do it yourself or you can lose really badly. Um, and 
I, I don't, I just don't, I don't, I don't really get down often with the, okay, I'm just gonna not play the objective and we're just gonna lose horribly and I'm gonna try and get kill streaks. I just, that's not how I roll and I don't do that even to, even to get uh, clips for my video series when I need to. So, um, so you'll see me and I think there's maybe even a clip here um, a little bit later on uh, where I'm on like a three kill streak and I jump on that really exposed objective, right? Because, because that's what matters. So let's focus back on on why playing the objective can be important. I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's entirely personal preference, right? But presumably, if you're playing a game like this that's an online competitive game, you probably want to do well and you probably want to win. And when I say do well, hopefully winning is what I mean. But there's a lot of people in Call of Duty that think doing well means getting a lot of kills, even if they're in an objective game mode where getting a lot of kills doesn't help their team. Like, you can, and I've seen this before in Hardpoint or other objective game modes like Domination, um, and even kill confirmed, right? Where people will get just ridiculous kill counts, like hard point. If someone get, goes 30 and four, I've seen this, 30 and four and gets like no time on the hard point at all, or like less than 30 seconds, right? If you're an organized team and you have like a role of being the kill streak core to support your team and there, you know what? That's very rare. That does happen, but that's extremely rare. Those people are usually, and especially we're on the losing team, right? If you go 30 and four in hard point, you get no time on the hard point and your team loses, what did you do? You padded your kill death stats, but you took a huge loss and you, you screwed your team over. Presumably when people play a game mode, they wanna win. And I would hope you, as a wheezy minion, are one of the kind of people who would want to play an objective. Um, so if kills are what matters to you, play an objective game mode. Right, uh, that 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 emphasizes kills, meaning team deathmatch, and less so uh, kill confirmed. Kill confirmed is still an objective game mode because if you kill people and you don't go get the tags because you're afraid of dying, you're still not helping your team very much. Unless you know, like I said, you're reading the situation and your teammates are out collecting your tags. But you should still be actively trying to support the objective the way you can. And I can probably cover that better in other videos. This is for hard points. So this isn't necessarily a. Uh, hard point strategy video this is kind of a philosophical video as I'm dwelling in some smoke hoping for people to walk in so I can get some kills to meet this challenge I didn't even complete the challenge in this game by the way this was like a total write-off <laughs> other than I was like you know what I played the shit out of the objective and we won so good so that's why I've got that's why I've got this game um, but I completed it like a game or two later in a, matter of fact I don't even think it was in hard point because I got pissed I was in like three or four hard point games in, hard point games in a row where I'm on a random team and they weren't playing the objective, the other team was. Yeah, hard point can be frustrating. Not as frustrating as headquarters. I find headquarters is twice as bad because most of the people that go to play headquarters are organized teams or randoms. So I would say probably 50% of the time or more, probably more than 50% of the time, 60, 70% of the time when I play headquarters by myself, I get matched up against an, uh, an organized team and we just get slaughtered. Like every time. Hardpoint is a lot better to play solo and you as an individual can have a good impact on the objective. In headquarters you can't. If it's if you're if the other team's all playing the objective and your teammates aren't, you can't do that by yourself because you can't get in and capture and hold a hard point all by yourself or a, a, a headquarters all by yourself. Hardpoint it's just total time. You can get in and survive, get back, survive as you'll see in this game. You can have a lot more impact as an individual in hardpoint. So I like hardpoint a lot better. Um, organized teams, headquarters makes a lot of sense. Headquarters isn't a bad game mode unless you're playing with randoms. If you're playing with an organized team, I think headquarters is a fantastic strategic game. Um, that's neither here nor there. So, again, I'm, I'm posting this video because I thought it was a really good game. I thought I played really well, even though I didn't get any kill streaks. I didn't get a good kill death ratio. I, you know, I this was not this is not the kind of game that that I would typically post or that anyone would really typically post. Um, I think it's really important, you know, cuz this this is this is this is how I play in general. Y even when you guys see me in the games when I'm getting like good kill streaks or um, you know, have a good result, I'm, I'm usually doing it supporting the objective. And I and I think that's part of what I try to share when I give tactics, weapon tactics, or like my War College series. The idea isn't, hey, how can you, you know, cheat the system to, to get the best kill streaks? Like, it's not how can I, um, 
how can I avoid playing the objective and whore kills in a way that I get this really cool 30 kill streak nuke and and I didn't do anything to play the objective. I'm not that's not what I'm trying to help you guys with. There's plenty of people out there that'll do that. The question is, what can you do to maximize your success in any game mode? Right? If you're playing hardpoint, what's the best thing you can do for success? That's part of what I'm evaluating with my weapons tactics videos, right? I'm trying to figure out, is the Striker 45 a good weapon to use in hardpoint? Spoiler alert, it is not, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I'll go over that more in the Striker 45 uh, weapon tactics videos that I'll put out. I think the next one I'm going to do is probably going to be the SKS. Um, and then the play of the game was a fucking RPG. I really hate when that happens. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of my rambling. Uh, maybe it was a soapbox. Um, a little bit. 12 and 15, I went negative, but I got just under three minutes on the objective. You know, so, you know, 180 seconds out of 250, like, I mean, I played the objective. I was happy with that game. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, hopefully you got some insight from it, and hopefully it'll encourage you not to feel bad if you get in an objective game mode and you want to actually play the objective and you're not going to go 30 and 4. I've had people talk trash on me on a losing team who go like 20 and 2 and lose. <laughs> All right. I mean, whatever, you know, no judgment. People get to do what they want to do. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll uh, talk to you later.